Hello everybody, today we are going to talk about Amio Famicom Detective. And without further ado, let's get right into it. I will try to not spoil you at all, so I will also only include this latest trailer about the game, which is a minute long. I will keep talking and this will keep playing, just so you will be able to see something. Um, this doesn't really have gameplay. You can play the demo. It has free up to chapter 3, which is 4 chapters because it's the prologue, chapter 1, chapter 2, chapter 3. And this is the, the easiest thing to suggest because you can just download it and play it on your Switch. The save data will carry over to the main game if you decide to buy it. But let me tell you, first, there will be no spoilers at all in this. I will try to minimize everything about the story and the gameplay, but really focus on telling you guys about what this game does. Because this game does a lot of things and really well. And I think it has really evolved what visual novels are. Now, I'm not visual novel aficionado or anything. I don't play only visual novels, but this, I cannot think that there are many visual novels out there that are of this caliber, that everything is voiced, uh, the cinematography in here, the way that they do the cuttings, the music, the mastery over, the what you feel. It is really feels like you are part of the story, interactive, but you are not really in a game. So the way that it, it works is usually in visual novels, you, because it, games, it gets gamified because you have options and you, you can fail. In this one, you cannot. I don't think you can really fail, at least I didn't. You cannot really fail, but you just get stuck there. So the mo if you try all the options, eventually you will get unstuck. So difficulty is not a thing here, you're not being gatekept, there is not multiple endings. There is just, you finish the game, you get the ending, and that's it. So the way I treated it was like a TV series, and I will watch one episode per night. And that's what I did for a long time. I was playing, playing, playing one, one chapter per day. Some chapters were longer than others. Uh, after chapter four, it was, some chapters were quite big. And sometimes you could get stuck. But it's not, it's not a problem because you only have specific options to select on what you do. So eventually you will be able to move on. And you don't really miss anything. Even if you have, you have choices, but they don't, but they do it on purpose to not give you choice paralysis. So they reward you if you follow closely the game, you will be able to do the correct choices. If you don't, you don't. It is what it is. Personally, I don't think I had any any wrong uh, because I just follow really, really closely the story. And uh, I even was kind of a person that would take screenshots every time I thought something was interesting being said so I can review it later. And because I'm, I'm that kind of a player, usually games, when you play them like that, they become really predictable because you pay too much attention. You don't play a little bit more aloof. When you pay too much attention, you take screenshots and you remember stuff, you figure the game out. This game, I could not figure it out. The other two games, I could, but this game, I could not. I could not really figure out what specifically would happen or would happen in the end, how it would end. So it was very, very interesting the way that it was playing. But most of all to me, what, what really dragged me into this game was how the characters were feeling so real. Like, you could think that this was a character in a, in a, in a show, in one of the best shows you have ever seen. Very good performances, emotional voice-wise, from all the voice actors. And you could definitely get immersed. The voiceovers, was, as I said, were fantastic, but what really captured me was the way that they will do the cuttings with the panels, the sudden appearances of stuff, the use of music that will really visual and audio stimulate your emotions. 
that was one of my favorite things about this game that it will really get you from a very funny aloof feeling to very serious immediately masterful use of silence to make you pay 120 percent attention to what was happening usually when there was silence it had meaning because otherwise you would have some tear kind of the music that you hear now from the game so this i just i just i just can't like this game when i finished it yesterday at night one thing to say if you are kind of the faint of heart about <clears throat> horror and disturbing kind of themes i would suggest do not play this last bit of the game at the night you will know when you are on the last bit <clears throat> so i would suggest to hold off play on the day because <laughs> i had a disturbed sleep last night let's just say that it was not it was not fun or at least have some lights on or something but for me yeah it was like that they definitely showed here that this team can make specifically mature and disturbing things that you see and even though you it, it's not like about gore and violence but it's about emotional horror so the way that they do that, the way that they stimulate you is they stimulate your feelings and not just having the edgelord themes that it's all about tearing up and down things. So I know a lot of people were kind of disappointed from the teasers that this will be kind of something like Resident Evil but it ended up, or like Silent Hill but it ended up being this and in my opinion for me this was way better than it could ever be something else fantastic storytelling in my opinion this is a definitely a must purchase game if you even close to like detective games this game will really 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 not disappoint I, I can't stress enough how good of a time I had with this game I finished it I think around 15 hours but it may take you a little bit less considering what you are doing because I take things slow when they get really interesting. I will never have autoplay on and I will always take my time to absorb the whole thing and the whole message from these things and then move on to finish, um, finish the sentence or anything. So it, too, it could be that you could be around like 12 hours or something. I don't know. But... For me at least 15 hours felt that it was great for the for the amount of money that you're gonna pay definitely is worth it because it's like the way that i see it it's like you bought a season of a show but this show is an evolved show is like an interactive show you're part of it it rewards you for paying attention i don't again i don't think you can actually fail this game i don't think you can fail this game maybe you can get a bad bad score but you don't, I don't think you get punished. It's not like the other games that if you played other visual novels, most likely you will know there are routes. So if you take some certain decisions, you can take a route for there and there. And it's not like that here. At least I don't think, I don't think there is any routing system because there was not on the previous ones. And I got the ending. You will know that you are getting the ending after I'm not gonna say anything else but definitely one of my favorite games this year I wouldn't be surprised to see it on the nominees for game of the year but maybe not game of the year but maybe maybe about the story because I think the story in this game was absolutely absolute cinema moment like absolute cinema for me this game overall the experience was 9 out of 10 it it could have like for me i would prefer it had a little bit more punishment system but i understand why they don't because they want people to just finish the game they don't want to gatekeep people and be like oh i'm not gonna finish it i'm done they want you to feel the story they want you to see the story because the whole game is around you finding out the truth so they will always try to to hint you where to go and what to do if you end up purchasing this game or you want to try the demo the 
the best thing that I could say is for the gameplay wise, if you're getting stuck, think logically because this game makes you think like you are in real life. How you will ask something and you will have to keep asking about the same subject and then how about you will think some stuff and stuff like that. And one, one, one more thing that I will say is when you're looking at something, when someone is doing funny phases, they will do that. Be sure to inspect them, to do click where and just click on their face. Because that usually can get you unstuck many times. That was at least my tip for the game. There is definitely options out there. I'm pretty sure there are people that already have finished the game and tell you exactly what to do. But yeah, it is what it is if you want to take that route as well and be safe that you're gonna have everything correct. So this was the video, definitely recommend this game. One of the best game this year for sure for me. And if you like this video, like it. If you love what I'm doing, subscribe. See you next time.